Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to talk about expectation in photography. It's about money that you might not get as much as you want as in the beginning of your journey. The whole point is your price gets higher by the years that you're passing. So your experience uh, lift up your prices. So you cannot make a lot of money at the beginning of your career. But by the years it goes, you gain experience and you know what you're doing. So you have a strong portfolio and then you can engage for new clients. Uh, there are too many photographers that there is no space for me to put my work outside and to go to see my works. Well, that's true. There are too many people out there doing photography, but a couple years you realize that at the beginning I was thinking, okay, so what I'm doing, there are too many people done this before as well. So what's the point of me to doing this? And there are a lot of people out there, they're doing amazing jobs. So how can I see myself? After that, I stopped thinking about there are a lot of people and there are a lot of works. I uh, start focusing on my works, on my creativity and start making my own visual stories that um, I like it. And I start just stop thinking about the others basically it, uh, what I realized that I have to um, stop thinking and just put my works out there and to just see the result what's gonna happen you might not get any result by putting your uh, first second or even like 15 photos different set of photos out there I can uh, guarantee that after you put for example 50 different photos out there on your social medias you're gonna get at least at least one feedback out of it you can see your progress from the first scene that you shot from the first image that you had till the hundred ones so you can see yourself how you progress through the time that you were shooting third expectation that I had basically I wanted a fast progress I wanted people to see me after second work or third work, my photos published in the magazines or posted by famous pages, it's not gonna work. The reason is you might not have enough experience to see the problems of your photos. So you cannot see the, the weakness of your image. One of the main thing, I stopped doing it. It was just forgetting about the followers, the likes, the comments. So you, you just have to create what you want. Just focus on creating things and just put them out there. Just stop thinking about it at the beginning stage because I had it the same. I wanted to put my photos out there for a lot of people to seeing it. Another expectation that I had, uh, it was uh, waiting for the people to reach out to me. Well, it was completely wrong. Okay. At least you are a famous photographer, yeah, you're known by the people, they'll reach out to you. But for someone who's new into this job, connection is very important. Connection basically is the key. So you have to have a very good skills of talking and to just, you know, socialize. One thing I was doing it wrong that complaining about there's not enough job in photography, there are no one hiring me and there is nothing that I can do. I, I don't earn any money, but here's the thing. Well, I was sitting here at this chair and then just complaining about there's nothing, which is wrong. If you want to find something, you should go and search and find someone. It can be free job as well. It doesn't have to be uh, paid. Like no one knows about it that someone paid you or not. For example, I went to my uh, friend's coffee shop he just opened his coffee shop, didn't have any pictures, so I just offered him that I can come and shoot your new drinks and it can be free for you. No one asks you that did the client pay you or not, they just see the photos. Expectation number four is, yes, I will shoot every day. Well, that's not a fact because, see, here's the thing, um, it depends what field are you into it. Um, if you're a street photographer, well, yeah, of course, you should shoot every day. But in my case, I'm doing fashion and commercial, so 
it's almost impossible to shoot every day because in order to have a good result uh, you should come up with the idea and you have to grow that idea by just like um, gathering all the pieces and then stick them together and after you've done that uh, so in two weeks I might shoot two or three times it might take a month to um, to come up with the idea it's not true that you shoot every day I mean you can shoot every day but if you want a good result it's not gonna happen in that case you know, my teacher always saying that guys information is the key so uh, information is everything okay in my case the way I do it and the way it, it happens in the past I spend one week to just gather all the formations, the look that I was looking for, and then after that, I gather everything. My mood board, uh, contacting my team to start uh, fixing the time for the shooting, and it just make might take one day to shoot everything, and then after that, it's a post production which might it depends also on the concept it might take a week to edit all the photos and that's it guys for this video i hope you like it um, and see you in the next video